In this tutorial, we will learn how to create remaining views. At first, we will open one part to take the trials. We will take this split, open, isometric view, and click on start, mechanical design, drafting. We will choose this option, front top left, and we will modify the sheet size to A2. Ok. Ok. Then zoom fit. Click and drag and place the views. I don't need these views. Remove it. Then to display the center line and hidden lines, right click on the view properties and tick hidden line center line axis. Ok. Now here we already have seen how to create front view and projection view. Next is auxiliary view. Click on auxiliary view. Then define one line, give the first point, give the second point. Auxiliary view will be normal to this line. Click the second point. Then give the direction. You want to create view from which direction. Take your cursor on that side. Here it is showing the arrow direction. When you take your cursor above, it is showing the arrow direction. From that direction the view will be created. Then give the position for the view. Your auxiliary view is created in this direction. If you want to remove the auxiliary view, select it and delete it. It will be removed. Then we have seen already isometric view. Then next is offset section view. Click on offset section view. Then give the first point of the section line and give the second point. If second point is your last point then double click there. Then take your cursor below and click there. It has created the section view for this A section line. To change the hatching double click on it and from here choose hatching and from here you can control the pitch. I will take 2.5 then apply and click on OK. Now I have defined a section line with two points. You can define the section line with multiple points also. Click on section offset view. Suppose I want to define section line like this. Give your first point, drag the point, give your first point, give your second point, then give the third point, fourth point, take up. And then double click to end the section line definition and give the position for the view. So, as per your section line, that view will be created. The section view A name will be added automatically. You can drag the text and place it wherever you want it. Then, next is aligned section view. For aligned section view, we will need a circular or cylindrical part. We will open one more part. We will take this flange, open, then again click on window, click on drawing one, then create one front view, click here and select front view, click on window, select flange, click one surface for front view, I want to change the angle for these holes, by using this arrow you can change the angle, then click outside. Then to create aligned section view, click here. Then give the first point of the line, take your cursor, give the second point, then give the third point. Track this center point and give the third point. And while giving third point, double click there, give the position for the view. In the case of aligned section view, this line will be aligned with this vertical line, and after that, this view will be created. Therefore, if we project this circle, this circle is not here, but it is here. But in section view, it is showing here because it has been rotated aligned with this first line. And after that, this section view is created. This section view is very useful for cylindrical or circular objects. Then next is offset section cut. In section cut, only the section lines will be shown. Object behind it will not be shown. We will try this offset section cut. Suppose we will create one section cut here. Then double click. Take your cursor below and click there. 
now here only section object is shown and these lines are not shown in the case of section view behind lines will also be shown and in the case of cut behind lines will not be shown only the actual cut will be shown the next is detail view click on detail view then create one circle in the area where you want to show the detail view suppose i want to create detail view for this cut click inside it take your cursor away and click there if i want to create detail view for this view then i have to make this view active now right now this view is active we will escape it to make the view active click on the view right click and click on activate view then again click on detail view then give the center point create one circle and click there and take your cursor away and click there it will create the larger view for the selected portion and if you want to increase the scale of this view right click on it and click select properties and from here you can increase the scale if required you will have to change this first parameter then click on ok in this way you can change the scale of the view and here arrow and the name of the view is shown if you select this and right click and properties then from here this shape can be indicated in three ways now it is with leader line if you want you can choose this and apply it will show the name of the view like this and if you choose this and apply it will show like this and click on ok then next is detail view profile now we have created detail view with circle you can also create a detail view with lines suppose i want to create detail view here at first we will have to activate the view then we will have to create detail view again to activate this view select the view right click then click on activate view again click here for detail view profile give the first point give the second point create your shape for the last point double click it will create the profile then give the position for your detail view we'll just increase the size of the sheet right click on the sheet properties we'll take the a1 size apply okay then drag the views okay in this way this profile detail view is created and if you want to reposition this f you can press the first mouse button and drag it and place it at comfortable position and if you want to change the size of this text just select it and from here you can change its size you can make it bold you can change its font also then next is clipping view to create a clipping view other views should not be there we will just delete these views then click here and click on clipping view you can define the clipping view by creating a circle give the center point whatever portion of this view is inside the circle that will be kept as it is then give the radius point and remaining portion will be removed same way you can create a clipping view by a profile also here is the clipping view profile create your lines and for last point double click there and as per that your clipping view will be created to cancel the clipping view right click on the view click on front view and click on this unclip it will cancel the clipping view the next view is broken view if you want to show break for long object i will open one more object click on open i will take this shaft open click on window click on drawing one then again create one front view click on front view click on window click on shaft then give the direction for front view i just want to make it vertical click outside just drag it and place it inside the sheet click on broken view give the first point for the break line then define whether you want it vertical or horizontal take your cursor on that side then give the position then give the second point the second point will define the portion to be removed the portion between these two lines will be removed click there 
and click outside. The inside portion has been removed. And if you want to change the line type, select the line types, right click, properties, and from here you can define different line type. Apply, okay. And if you want to cancel the broken view, right click on it, take your cursor to front view object, and click on unbreak. It will again bring back the original view. Then next is breakout view. I will just cancel this detail view E. And here I want to show the breakout view. Again at first I will have to activate this view. Select the view, right click and click on activate view. Then click here and select breakout view. Then create one shape around the portion where you want to create the breakout view. Then double click for the last point and give the position of the breakout up to what position you want to break out suppose I want to break out up to this position click on ok here the breakout view is created up to that depth it is very important if you want to show some hidden detail on the spot that's all thanks for watching we will stop here.